so this is the uh, official presentation of the second level master course thesis of candidate Dr. Nicola Simone. And uh, the supervisor is uh, Dr. Andre Malizia, myself, and Dr. Abayanotti. The external supervisor is Dr. Ahmed Gamal Ibrahim. The candidate is uh, Nicola Simone. I kindly ask the commission to switch off the microphone and just to turn it on if they have questions. The best option uh, is to, um, let's say, leave all the questions at the end of the presentation. So Nicola has the floor for the entire presentation. Nicola, please. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, everyone. Uh, well, this, uh, this thesis is, is uh, about, uh, as you can see in, uh, in the main, uh, in the first slide, uh, a new social communication approach during the COVID-19 health emergency in Italy. I will speak about strategies, application, and at the end, a survey with the detection of perceptive feedbacks in a, in a population sample. As, you, as we can see, okay, uh, this is just the start, just a, a, a fast uh, basic concepts to better understand what communication is. Of course, you already know that, but I had to, to speak about it just a bit. So this COVID-19 uh, is, uh, of course, the first pandemic that the world had to fight since the Spanish flu in 1918. And uh, most, no, all the world was caught unprepared. And every nation have uh, managed the pandemic alone without a global coordination, except uh, for the World Health Organization guidelines and official documents. You can see in the slide uh, a black text box uh, uh, wait, uh, can you see the the laser pen on the screen? Yes, yes. yes. Okay, okay. The the black text box are uh, the fact. The green text box are my consideration. The red text box are criticism. Are not criticism. Uh, I mean critical concepts. Uh, I'm sorry, not criticism. It's another thing in uh, in Italian. So. It's not my purpose to say who did well and who didn't, but the results in some cases uh, we all can see are actually scaring. So in this work, I analyzed the Italian scenario. Not I, I, I didn't have time to 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 check all the world, of course. Mm, so uh, I concentrate with, mm, on official and unofficial information channels, but mostly unofficial information channels, uh, especially uh, social networks uh, concerning fake news and uh, conspiracy theories born and spread uh, uh, widely, well, quite widely. So we have a timeline, I, I check a timeline of COVID-19 uh, uh, facts in, uh, in the thesis, uh, the measures taken and the communication done. Uh, it is inside of thesis. I, of course, uh, avoided in the presentation because it's uh, too uh, too long to explain. Uh, so official channels and unofficial channels. So then I deployed, and and this is the innovation in the thesis, uh, a side system of personal communication. Uh, I used the 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 military term flanking. Be, uh, because uh, uh, the English translator was not happy to say the word flanking, because flanking is when uh, uh, an, an allied army attack on the flank the enemy to support uh, the front side allied army. So it is uh, strictly for uh, military uh, language, but uh, the 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 meaning of my of my side system was exactly this flanking because I'm not related to any official govern. Okay, I work for government, but I, I work for agriculture, so uh, I was not related to World Health Organization, to health ministry, to government itself about communication. So I was just myself, with my personal credibility, trying to inform people and doing this in a simple way supporting but not officially that's why flanking and not just supporting the official information channels so i use it for first my personal facebook account but then i, I needed to create a, a specific facebook page because uh, it was uh, 
not possible to 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 see the insight of uh, of my personal profile i did to create a page so i started on the 1st of may we will see later so this is the basics of communication what communication means meaning to share uh, okay we will speak about human communication of course uh, that can be divided in ver into verbal communication and non-verbal communication of course, uh, while using social networks is most uh, verbal communication because uh, uh, written communication is uh, compared to verbal. Uh, so communication is thus a process by which meaning is assigned and conveyed to create shared understanding. So of course, this process, especially for uh, Typical communication, like health communication, like emergency communication, requires a vast repertoire of skills in interpersonal processes, like listening, observing, speaking, questioning, analyzing, gestures, and evaluating too. So uh, there are many models used to explain how communication works. I, I use the Berlo model because it, it fits better my, my, my purposes. Uh, of course, uh, we have between source message uh, channel and receiver in this direction, we have many noises that will disturb the communication. Noises are many environmental, physiological, syntactical, organizational, cultural, psychological, but we also have social levels that are not related to noise, but it's a sum of biases and the most famous are information cascade, conformistic cascade, group polarization, prejudices, pre-existing beliefs, emotions. So my purpose was to reduce the noise the most I can while giving the message and reduce, it, it is impossible to eliminate social levers and reduce the social levers of, of at least inside my followers while uh, fighting these uh, different uh, social levels. So how I did that? I, I simply did that using the, the famous Cutlips 7C of communication. Uh, okay, the, the version of the, of the Cutlip and Center Manual of Communication, my version is 2019, but it was born in 1959, if I remember well, or maybe 1953. And uh, uh, it was based for commercial communication, advertising, but communication yet is communication. So the, the project to flank, I, I invented nothing on methods. I just changed the approach. I used a different approach. So this seven C of communication are completely according to the WHO guidelines on emergency communication outbreaks according to the NATO PR public relation handbook that was my that were my reference while developing my strategies and my action while posting these are <coughs> sorry these are a, a brief uh, um, resume of conspiracy theories and fake news uh, uh, misinformation mechanism that you know the the arrow that goes in two in two directions tower satire or parody and toward the fabricated content with the, with the other uh, kind of um, misinformation techniques so who uh, exactly wh while i i was uh, uh, studying and developing my thesis uh, uh, did uh, set up and did the first conference uh, world conference on infodemics and uh, uh, it is because we will see, um, no, okay, uh, same resume in, uh, in another, uh, this is related to, <clears throat> to social levers and uh, as, as we saw in the, in, the, in the previous slide. So Italian unofficial communication, especially social networks, during the COVID-19 lockdown uh, has been submerged by a huge quantity of fake news and conspiracies. I, I listed someone uh, in the next slide. In fact, it was the first infodemic we had to face. Infodemic is when too much information, right or wrong, uh, could lead people to uh, a less 
perception of health, of protection, or maybe even to harm themselves. We will see. Uh, so uh, I studied the bibliography related topics. So I started using my personal Facebook profile, profile as I told you, to fight conspiracy theories and fake news, not only to give correct information, but uh, these two uh, these two points were uh, at the first uh, um, at the first of the list for me. So how I did it, uh, helping people developing analytical thinking that is uh, effective, uh, proven effective for both fake news and conspiracies and debunking, but it's effective only on fake news. So then we will see a conspiracy conspiracist identity and some of fake news circulating on social net with the, with the, with sources. This fake news could do harm to people, like taking a hag of chloroquine. So uh, fake news are not only uh, not only led people to misinformation and misunderstanding, but they could do harm really. These are some uh, other Italian fake news. So uh, I started this experiment because I realized that my personal profile was not enough. So uh, I used the, the basics of my of my friends and followers of my page, 2,150 almost, I, I don't remember well, and I created this page. The name is a parody. So if you if you think to if you watch this, I could I could fall into the misinformation matrix but i avoid it because i started putting a title whenever i write a post so real news on covid 19 pandemics have the title covid 19 news on the top while curiosity parodies funny news jokes have the title coronavirus news so people users and page followers knew perfectly when I was telling a real news or I was joking just to make people smile, to, be, to make people laugh. So the, the, I, in this way, I avoided, and I, I had positive feedback on this, the risk of being misunderstood or to give misinformation to users. So this is the experiment. It started uh, 1st of May 2020 and ended at 1st August 2020. The page is still active, but not updated daily because I don't, do not have time. So the duration is 93 days. The number of posts were 73, 0.79 posts per day. At the end, uh, at the, the end of the experiment, 1st of August, I had 513 followers, 515 likes. This is the, the, the web address. Total post coverage goes from a minimum of 60 on, uh, on May 11th, was the lowest, to a maximum of 3,360 on 2nd May 2020 of organic coverage. Organic coverage means people that come to your page alone without uh, paying advertising uh, or, 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 so, or, or something else. Why organic plus paid coverage reached a maximum of 5,593, 1,312 one, uh, 1, organic plus 4,135 paid on 27th of May 2020. So the results can, can be considered modest, but nevertheless interesting. Why? Because uh, I just uh, give, gave a modest effort of my just my time, I was alone and a very limited resources at my disposal. I, I just paid 10 euros for uh, for five days of uh, of pay of paid advertisement on Facebook, but uh, I realized it was not necessary. The word of mouth power was uh, was much higher. Then, uh, okay, this is uh, the like on the page. As you can see at the beginning, uh, it uh, it was very high. Then was quietly uh, increasing. Just one, two, three, four people that left uh, from 23 of May to to the end of July, and not, of course, not at the first day when the 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 sharing of the link was uh, higher, of, of course. Same, uh, it it was for uh, like, comment, and, and sharing. 
the different uh, the different uh, colors means reactions, comment, shares, uh, and others. The, pi the page was quite uh, um, uh, quite uh, uh, dynamic. Okay, uh, sorry, I, uh, the, the word didn't came. It was quite dynamic for comment and reaction with people discussing each other and uh, and um, uh, feeding the conversation and the discussion. So this is the post coverage. The orange was paid. The, the, the yellow orange was organic coverage. So then I started the survey. And uh, I started the survey before analyzing the data obtained by Facebook Insights. So uh, uh, I started the survey, of course, in Italian language, in order to verify the perception of social user towards COVID-19 and the communication done, uh, eventually to confirm the effectiveness of the Facebook page created. So the survey was composed by 24 different questions. Three questions on general data, six, six questions with single answer, three questions with multiple choice, 11 questions with uh, uh, <coughs> an ordinal scale <coughs> from 1 to 10, and one open-ended question for further investigation. I, I want to try a sentiment analysis on it. We will see. So I started on July 1st at 22.30 hour, asking for a little help from uh, my friends on Facebook. Uh, and uh, in five days, uh, I collected 351 answers. So you can see timeline and frequency. I had the, 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 the greatest uh, participation between the first, the second and the third day. Then it, it was rapidly decreasing. So on the fifth day, I see only four people took the survey and so I decided to close it. This is the geographical provenience of people that answered. Of course, due to my contact list on, uh, on WhatsApp uh, and Facebook that I shared uh, around, most of them came from Central Italy. Uh, Lazio, Lazio and Abruzzo. Thanks to Andrea Malizia too that share his contact. This is the gender distribution. Uh, 191 male, 158 female, two others. I, I have, we have others. The age distribution is uh, normal is normally distributed with uh, with the top uh, uh, age class. It's 46-55 my age class, of course, so uh, it, it is uh, quite uh, um, uh, explainable. Uh, why we have a, qu a quite uh, amount of younger and elder. So age and gender distribution is normally distributed by male population and a little we, we have a, a, a little skewness on the left um, for the female, younger female participating. So uh, the, the, the main question that interested, us, that interested us for uh, uh, the technique of communication are, uh, do you know the Facebook page? Uh, and uh, on 351, 197 said no, and uh, 151, okay, 54, because three knows that, but I don't, don't like them, don't like it, uh, knows the page. So I follow it often. We can see here. I uh, no, I follow it often. I don't follow it often, and I don't follow at all. So people who don't like it, it's the the second the, the the subsequent question. So the the reaction of respondents to the page, positive reaction are 89.40 percent, neutral or negative reaction and 10.6 percent. It was a, a multiple choice, uh, a multiple choice uh, uh, answer. So people, uh, there is people who gave uh, all five answers. Uh, so I, I had to divide uh, into single answer, multiple answers, and uh, we see that. Uh, okay, wait. Uh, this is uh, the number, uh, the, the 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 answer possible, and the letter I gave: A5, B4, C3, D1, B2. No, okay, wait. Uh, so we can see that the, the the percentage of the of the of the positive answer is uh, uh, about the same about the the number two, the number three, and the number four. 
So the, the cut of information given, educational, but not smart read, light and pathetic. The personal credibility and scientific curriculum of the administrator of the page. And he helped me overcome the lockdown with serious and detailed information and some author. So I decided not to give, uh, uh, as you probably uh, saw, I decided not to give uh, only a serious uh, cut on the page, but uh, I uh, alternate the, the serious news with the, the jokes, the, 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 the parodies on, on, uh, on COVID-19 to make people, uh, uh, to have people relief, uh, to give them relief, stress relief, and to, to ease the anxiety and fear resulting from the various news is the, is the lowest one with just 6.42%. So we can see fear perception about pandemics and effects on health. Uh, we can see that uh, the, the majority of the, respond, uh, of the responders uh, gave uh, a value between seven and eight, while the reassuring from institutional communication perception gets lower. Well, still the sum of positive reaction is, uh, is uh, enough, but we have uh, 63 that gave five we can, we can consider neutral, and a sum of uh, 83, 107, 100, 130 people says uh, they, feel not, they felt not reassured by institutional communication perception. The most important is this next, the next slide. Very interesting because uh, the, the, the question was, have you fallen victim even if by mistake of fake news, hoaxes or news that report to conspiracy theories? We have a 12.8% that said yes, and a small percentage of 15 people, if I remember, yes, and I believe there is a conspiracy in, in uh, uh, actually uh, from specific uh, power groups or ob obscure groups. Yet they followed my page or answered the question, the, 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 the questionnaire. Interesting. And then I asked the how how did you fall into the trap of fake news? This is the, the translation uh, from top to bottom, and uh, the the most uh, the most uh, uh, important where uh, it seemed likely to mean content, and uh, it was uh, shared by a contact who has my esteem and whom I thought was very reliable. So for future uh, planning or fighting uh, fake news uh, or conspiracy theories, uh, we should we should uh, concentrate uh, on uh, mostly on these two different answers. There are two different uh, uh, answers concerning uh, uh, I, I never bite and I guess I haven't bite for now. People who say I never bite uh, usually is more vulnerable to, to fall into a fake news trap than people say, I guess I haven't bite for now, because the, the presence of doubt, uh, it is proved that uh, gives a sort of immunity uh, while uh, uh, seeing a fake news or a conspiracy theory, because uh, people who doubt say, okay, let me verify. While people say, I never buy, I'm sure I never, uh, can, can tends to categorize even uh, other um, even other uh, uh, concepts, our beliefs. So we have uh, the the final uh, slide is uh, I, I tried to to put in a, in the same column period the three different graph to to make uh, uh, evident the difference in the in the scale between the three different. Uh, uh, source of communication. This is uh, about the perception of uh, effectiveness of communication. Central government have uh, a six to eight majority. So globally, people, okay, responders of the questionnaire considered it effective. While shifting to perception of, about effectiveness of local government, things get more uh, 
confused because uh, we 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 can see that uh, not all the region, all the governors, all all the majors. Uh, had a communication staff or communication plan for the emergency, and and we uh, we, uh, we have uh, uh, we have seen and heard uh, very strange things in some cases. While uh, yet yet the majority is still on the on the neutral to positive consideration. While unofficial communication perception, TV news, etc., you can see that. Uh, most of the responders are in the, in the left side of the of the neutrality. So only three people said it was very effective or or quite very effective with the nine. The sixty people, the seventeen person said it was not effective at all. And so at the end of this experiment, uh, structured in this. Uh, Facebook information page in the collection of the inside and in this final verification, the results are the confirmation of various existing hypotheses, but they also open new paths to different ways of dealing with emergency communication. And some are included and illustrated but by the WHO in the, in uh, at the, the the final document uh, that came out uh, at the end of the first uh, WHO infodemiology conference. But the core is this, the right message at the right time from the right messenger through the right medium can save lives. Misinformation or mixed messages can cost lives. Of course, uh, Nicola, you have you have finished the time. OK, th that's it. It's my last uh... complete, complete the conclusion, but go a little bit faster, okay? Okay, no, that, that's it. This is the, my this is my last uh, my last uh, my last um, slide. So this suggestion that I found, so uh, uh, I uh, I tried to be the right messengers using the right medium and giving the right message. People seems to appreciate it. So uh, this suggestion should be took in charge mostly by the so-called mainstream media than official, uh, uh, co than official communication channel, as radio and television, especially considering the really low results obtained by the answer to the proper question. There is much, much more to say. Uh, you, will, uh, you will read my thesis, but I want to thank everyone for this wonderful year. I mean, the 2019, not the not this one spend studying learning meeting wonderful people and making friendship thank you everyone really really thank you thank you nicola please uh,